All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And we're a two income household of five living in the Midwest. Um, adults are in our 30s uh, and three kids under seven. And so just working on getting our lives together here. So as you have probably realized um, in my videos or if you watch my videos that I have switched on um, what I'm using for a budget planner. And so I wasn't trying to like not acknowledge that. Um, but I just hadn't had time to sit down and, and um, film a video specifically about how I'm doing that. I know I did film a flip through if you watched it about like it being a plum paper neutral um, video. But if you were here only for budget and content, you might not have have tuned into like a plum paper review, whatever. So I didn't, it wasn't like, ooh, I need something new or whatever. I really, really enjoyed what I was doing in the Erin Condren Monthly. The problem that I was running into there were a couple issues. So there were like 10 pages in between the monthly spreads and I was finding that that wasn't giving me enough room for everything that I needed, um, as well as um, just kind of the ability to move things around, like flipping back and forth, what do I need to see together and near each other and how do I coordinate all that? And so I had contemplated trying something with discs. I've never been into discs, um, but to be fair, I've also never really tried them. So um, I did buy a happy planner last year, I think, and tried it for like a home project cleaning planner just to try it. And I actually loved the rings there, uh, but I don't really use that planner anymore. So that was kind of my testing out that I could probably make this work. Um, so I did just really get some basic inexpensive discs on Amazon. They are linked below. They are nothing fancy because I was not sure I was going to like this. And then um, Plum Paper did come out with their neutral spread. Um, and that was kind of the final, like I was playing around with the idea and I was going to save up my spending money. And I did end up, you know, figuring out you, it's shown in one of my check-in videos, how I, how I funded this. But, um, so yeah, the discs are from Amazon. This is from Plum Paper and I got it disc punched. This is eight and a half by 11. Um, especially with budgeting, I like big, big pages. I write big and I have a lot of stuff. So, um, I was just going to come in here and show you how I, how, what I have set up in here and how I'm using it. Um, and why I like it, don't like it, whatever. So I'm doing the same thing on this that I had in, in the other planner. I'm just tracking when we fill our bulk gas tank in green, when we have our LP fills in blue, and then the paydays are in the pink. <clears throat> um, on special dates, I kind of did the same thing that I did with the 12 box on the Erin Condren thing, like special big expenses per month. You know, so things like Wesson's birthday and back to school would be big expenses in August, 4th of July. Um, I wrote out, because I have for, am forever forgetting this now that we have more vehicles and things that need to be registered. Um, you know, my suburban registration is due in May and it's that amount. Here is the amounts for all the things that come due in September for registration. Um, anyway, so just like those big, big expenses. I have not utilized this yet. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I just kind of have a temporary list of, of sinking funds, things that I would want to save for. So this is what I was really kind of thinking. I had a big stack of papers that I just stuck in my Erin Condren notebook. And in here, I was like, if I get it on discs, I can disc punch and then I can add stuff anywhere I want it and it can always be accessible. So this is the budget category organizer that I did a video about. It's there for reference. Um... Well, this and these savings trackers are free printables from the Budget Moms free free printable um, online resources. So this is where I track um, my sinking funds. I track them in a few places, but I like to have them on paper with my budget planner. I also have them in like Ally buckets, so I track you know they're they're digitally somewhere as well. But I do like to have it written right here um, as a reminder when I'm getting paid. That was an error when I printed, but yeah. So I do have all those for my different um, sinking funds that are in. Um, the high yield savings. Um, and so I didn't get this calendar, you know, I bought this as a September planner. So the first month that I have in here is September, but I got it, um, really fairly, you know, early enough in August that I could definitely use it for this pay for this, um, for August. So what I did, I had some, some paper, um, uh, and I actually, I was originally going to use um, the good kind of midlife crisis had linked the paper that she uses for the, her printables for her budget mom, um, you know, printable workbook. And it was like 32 pound paper. And I, I saw it, I was going to get it. And then I hummed and hawed because like what I had at home was like 18 pound. And so I'm like, hmm, maybe I don't need all the way to 32 pounds. So I bought 24 pound paper in the same brand. 
Um, and I wish I had gotten heavier paper now. So, you know, listen to Becky, get, get heavier paper. Um, but this is how I set this up. Um, so I put the budgets that you've been seeing me use on here. On the back side of that August budget, I did this paycheck breakdown in the August financial goals that I will, going forward, I will do here um, probably on the dashboard. But since I was kind of piecing together August, I just took out stuff that was in the Erin Condren and put it onto paper and added it in. So these are my August ones. So there's the paycheck, then the cash breakdown, and the sinking fund stuff that you've seen me use for paychecks. This is like, this is my transaction log essentially for my bank account, starting with the first deposit of the pay period going to when I close it out at the end. Um, then here's the next paycheck budget, the one just from recently, the cash breakdown. <clears throat> and then there's the um, transaction log for the bank account as well. And then on the last page, um, I do the credit card transactions for the month and everything. I've showed that, so that I do one page per month for that. So I just print, I just made all of those in Google Sheets and printed them on the paper that I bought to put in here. Um, and then I obviously didn't have August paper, so I took September. I think I will have, I think I'll have enough and used this for my check-in. Uh, because I was trying to kind of use my transaction log as the check-in when I was filming the check-ins, and that was just confusing. So I got just a specific piece of paper, and again, I could use any kind of paper and, and punch it and put it in here. But this is what I, you know, what I used for that. Um, you know, it's easy to pull out and film with it or move it around and put it where I want it in the book, and, and then it stays there. Um, and then, so going into September... When it's actually set up, ignore my not straight lines. I need to figure out my life. Um, but so on the dashboard, um, you know, I'll do some of the things I was already doing on the dashboard. I will create the credit card tracker for the month. Um, and then I will have the monthly spread in here. The reality is, is I don't do a lot of my monthly spread. Uh, but it is nice to have a calendar for reference for paydays, you know, knowing I, I'm not used to having, um, you know, credit card payments or whatever, but we have been using the Menards card for expenses for that. So knowing when I have to have different statement balances paid off by to fund different purchases there is helpful. And I just took these, these were life and envelope stickers and they were made for the Erin Condren um, monthly, but I had purchased them and they're beautiful. So I just moved them in here because I wanted to use them on the monthly. Um, so then I am, I am waiting for some stickers to come from ever changing plans that I'm going to use to do some, um, sinking fund trackers so I can really keep track of what I'm putting in sinking funds and what I'm saving each month. So I thought I would use one of the line pages that came with it for that. And then I printed off my budget, um, kind of the, the form that I made, um, on Google sheets or Excel or whatever that I think I need to make some changes to because I have more sinking funds and less other and whatever. But I did print these out and again, use the stickers, the budget header stickers that I did already have from, um, from like an envelopes because like I said, they're beautiful and I did not want to waste them. So that piece comes in here. This feels wasteful to me because I don't have something to print on the other side of each of those. But I also really think I like having these next to each other when I'm filling out like my cash breakdown to have the stuff over here. So I do need to sort that out to see if I'm gonna continue to use two pages for that. Um, and then this is gonna go in. So this is going to be what I'm gonna use, um, my actual expense tracker for my weekly check-in. Um, I took, again, a life and envelope sticker and I just kind of changed the, the categories on that. I'm not a super like this needs to be extremely neat. I'm trying to use what I have and make it work. So this is, again, this is the lined paper in between. They don't have any more lined paper in the plum paper planner than they do in the Erin Condren, but I'm not using the lined pages for these budgets. I'm putting this paper in, so it allows me to use these for check-ins. Then this is going to be like my checking register, essentially, my transaction log of everything that goes in and comes out of my bank account. And then I have this blank one. So I'm, maybe I'll use that as a closeout page for that paycheck, I don't know yet. Um, so then it goes into the next paycheck budget. I've put those pages in again. And then this again will be the page to film you know, that I use for filming my check-in, my bank account ledger for that paycheck. And then back here, um, as I've kind of hinted out that I'm going to start working on our last debt, our HELOC, um, I'm currently waiting um, to get our project done. We have to, we have to finish um, 
I really wanted a place for um, the daycare money to go that we're no longer paying because I would have no problem spending an extra $300 a paycheck, but it's been in our in our budget as daycare for the last seven years, so I really needed to um, make a plan for it. That $300 plus the increased income um, for me working more hours um, that will start to be reflected on September paychecks. So I was like, I'm allocating it, um, you know, a big chunk of it to the HELOC. Well, right now what's supposed to go to the HELOC is going to go to this project until it's done, then it will go to the HELOC. So I'm gonna get started later than I wanted, but that's just kind of how it is. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking at for September. I'll come in and show you a, um, a setup when I do it. But here's the, the blank one. I think this is all still blank. It's the, you know, the dashboard aligned page, the calendar spread, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, you know, one page um, things that to just kind of use for however. So plenty of room to do different things, to track different things in here, which I like, and then discs, the ability to move things on and off, which is helpful also. Um, one thing that I'm already seeing that I'm struggling with is, and I think the heavier paper obviously would have helped, um, is, you know, these are going to get damaged pulling them on and off so much, or when my kids roll them around and they get like half pulled and whatever, um, or knocked off of something. But I do think until I buy new paper, because I would like to avoid buying new paper right this minute, the next time I put some in here, and maybe I'll even go do it with the September ones, I thought about putting um, just like a strip of washi down the side and then punching through the washi um, so that that would give it just a little bit of extra strength um, other than just the paper to kind of hold that together and withstand the um, the taking on and off as of, you know, as that's necessary. Um, so that's what I have in here so far. There are some, I don't have all the months in here because I didn't want it super huge. There are some dotted pages at the end, contacts, passwords, and then a um, 2025 planning ahead. Um, so I'm not using anything in the back right now. I use the pocket to throw a lot of stuff in. Um, but yeah, so that's currently what I'm using and, and why. So that was why the change, it wasn't, a, not that it matters why I did it, but um, it was because I wanted it to be more functional, to be able to move things around um, and have more usage and, and just more options of pages to add pages in. Um, you know, if I print something out and then use it to be able to stick it on the on the discs. So I did add a couple more months this morning because I wanted the discs to be fuller, I thought. I think it's probably just a little floppy because it's a, it's an eight and a half by 11 and it's just big pages. But anyway, so that is what I'm using right now and why. And I wanted to really just get in here and show you how I had how I had set that up and, and explain a little bit about why I did that. Again, I don't, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you don't owe people explanations of, of what you're doing. It's your money. It's your life. I'm like, right. But I'm on here on YouTube sharing this journey. Like I've opened myself up to sharing some of these. So there's some level of like responsibility, I feel, um, of sharing this information. But anyway, this is what I've got going on. This is what I'm doing. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.